Hello to all of you dear ones. Welcome to your channel and I hope you are doing well. In the previous videos, we finished the construction of the fixed focus system and the construction of the solar dish that you see. This system will be ready for many tests and has a focal point with a temperature of approximately 400 degrees Celsius. In fact, this system belongs to all of us, and think that it is at your disposal, so any experiment you like just let me know. I will gladly perform the experiment in question and present it in the form of a video. Especially students who have a research project and don't have time to make such a system for testing. So today I'm going to try this metal cylinder that I tested with the small solar dish before with this new solar dish. This metal cylinder is considered as a steam tank, which causes a rotating movement when the steam exits from its two nozzles. The size of the nozzle hole must be appropriate. If it is too small, it may cause the tank to explode, and if it is too large, it will slow down the rotation. In fact, the rotation of this cylinder depends on the amount of output mass in the output speed of the steam mass, that is, mv, which in fact, its energy is equal to omega iota. To obtain the rotational torque of a cylinder, the relevant relations in the figures can be used. But one point makes the calculation a little more complicated and what is the shape of the mass of water in the tank when it rotates. I prepared this tank as you can see better in the picture. These added points on the tank are related to its balance. Also, if the number of nozzles is more, the rotation power will be more. This sample has four nozzles. It also has two bearings which are placed in the base. Well, first I pour the water into the tank and it is better if the water has few salts. I have a 1.5 liter bottle of water that I pour into the tank. If you fill the tank to the brim, there will be no problem. The important thing is that the more accurately the tank is balanced, the less vibration there is and therefore the faster the rotation. Well, it holds almost 1.250 liters of water. Now I use Teflon tape and wrap it around the screw of the water inlet pipe. A good feature of Teflon tape, apart from preventing steam, is that it can withstand high temperatures, and this is very good. I wrap the Teflon tape a lot to completely prevent the steam from escaping. Now, I will put this water pipe cap on it. I tighten it with locking pliers. If I reverse the tank, water drops should come out of the nozzles, and if not, it means that the nozzle hole is too narrow and there is a risk of the tank exploding. I have prepared a tube base for it, the height of which is suitable for the solar dish focal base. There is a groove in this part where the base bearing of the tank is placed. Now I will give him a suitable distance. Now I tighten the screw related to the metal fasteners.
Unfortunately, the bearings that I used have a thin shell, and when the metal fasteners are tightened, it causes the rotation to slow down. I have to loosen the fasteners again. Now I place it exactly in focus of the sun dish. You can see that the sunlight is focused on it. The other side is also good. Now let's look closely. I take the initial tank temperature now. Forty two degrees Celsius on tank and thirty three degrees Celsius on base. And I repeat again and gradually the temperature of the tank rises until the water boils and creates the pressure required for the steam to come out of the steam nozzle. Of course, a lot of energy is needed to create pressure in the tank, much more pressure than a kitchen pressure cooker. It has now reached 50 degrees Celsius and is rising. It takes about 10 minutes for the pressure inside the tank to reach the appropriate level and it depends on the temperature of the focus and the amount of water and the nozzle hole. The hole of the steam exit nozzle is extremely important and we must choose it carefully. This nozzle can be as shown. Therefore, we allow the tank to heat up well and its internal pressure reaches the desired value and starts rotating. I wait 10 minutes and try to get a video of it when it starts spinning. Now it is slowly starting to turn. And the speed is gradually increasing. Of course, my camera cannot show the exact rotation speed because the frame speed of my camera is either equal to the rotation speed or less than the rotation speed, which shows the movement in the opposite direction. Now 5 minutes have passed since the tank started to rotate and I measure the temperature again. The temperature is almost 154 degrees Celsius and the base temperature is 34 degrees, so the tank is very hot. Now the speed is very good. And of course I hope, electricity generation with this system is convenient and 100%, the important thing is that it has a good efficiency and it should be noted that this method is specific to the fixed focus system. Of course, other simple methods can be implemented. For example, he transferred the pressure of the tank to a separate turbine. 
or you can use the transfer of hot oil outside the system and start a boiler. We have to see which method is simpler and has the appropriate efficiency. So wait for such a system in the coming months. And at this time we will do various tests on the system. Let's check the tank temperature again. You can see that the speed of rotation is so high that it seems to be fixed and the stroboscope mode is created. You can see that the temperature is 198 degrees and almost close to 200 degrees Celsius, which means that the output steam is almost equal to 200 degrees Celsius. This happens when the water in the tank is low. If you look carefully, you will see that some of the base is also exposed to the focus of light, and this is because the tank we use has smaller dimensions than the focus of this solar dish. It has been almost an hour and a half now that the cylinder is rotating and the water in its tank is running out. Now I can pull it out with the base. You can see that the rotation speed is decreasing. Well, I hope you enjoyed this experience. Write anything that comes to your mind in the comment, in fact, the collection of thoughts and opinions will be very useful. An hour and a half has passed since the rotation and the shorter the rotation time, the higher the output power. Thank you for being with me this far. Until the next program, goodbye. You can also see other videos on the Fixed Focus channel.